Let's do it. Let's go adventure together. I got I got Blitz in the bitch seat. Yay! Let's ride <laughs> off into the sunset together. Look at us go! <laughs>
it's kind of like what Future Evolved was doing. Like, it's revitalizing something that was beginning to get slightly stale. And I'm having a lot of fun. It's just brought back so many good feelings from starting out fresh and, and all that good stuff. So we may do a PvP season on Ragnarok. May, high, highly likely. Highly likely. But that'll be after our first initial, like, get to know the map. Like, this kind of PvP light season, where PvP is not necessarily going to be the main focus. This wouldn't be a bad base spot. You can't... It's a little cove here. This is... Oh, you actually can't fly any further up into here. Oh, oh. oh I, yeah, you can get in up here. Oh, up there? Okay. I was going to, like, a yeah, little right. eye. Yeah, this this wouldn't be a good spot. You could get flanked. Oh, this is right back at the entrance, this is isn't the exit, it? exit, yeah. Okay. This is all twisty and turny and windy. I love it. We gotta find the area. Oh, that's the wrong way again. We're, go we're, we're circling back the way we came. We gotta find the area that will eventually lead us into the cellar of that kingdom. That castle. Because I kind of want to let like lay claim to that castle. I want that to be like nerd parade territory, you know? I want this whole little area to be nerd parade territory. And that's going to be a large part of the goal in this season, is to build ourselves like a kingdom. We'll do PvP. It's not going to be like crazy, crazy PvP, but we're going to do some PvP. But it's going to be mostly... Like I, I, just, I keep referring to it as PvP light. What I want to implement is a purge system on this server and see how well that works out. What do you think about that, Blitz? I like that idea a lot. Like, just, we'll have mostly, like, open world PvP all the time. Structures take reduced damage, but on a special, like, a special day, maybe once or twice per month, structures will take double damage. And that'll be like the, okay, let's raid type thing. I want to revive the purge the purge day it was a lot of fun doing that in the original nerd parades series easies and i think that's going to be a thing that happens on ragnarok especially now since the map is only 50 percent completed uh I think, are we I going think the this right is way? a one entrance only room here oh this doesn't go i thought i could fly out here again this doesn't go out yeah, yeah this, this would be a, a decent base spot it's even got some light this would be a decent base spot can we bust this in the center or is it unbustable probably unbustable let's try i didn't bring a pick I got one. Oh, nice. Unbustable. Yeah, unbustable. Yeah, that would, make the woods down. that would be uh, impeding some of our build. But we should go deeper in. There's got to be a good spot. We're, we're exploring this labyrinth. Onward and downward. Onward and downward, indeed. We're exploring this labyrinth under our base. I'm so excited oh, for wow. this base location, by the way. It is for sure going to be the base of Opinus. Oh, oh hey. Yeah, there's metal. Yeah, we definitely should farm down here. Is this sandy metal? I think it's regular. Let me try. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's 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 see what's going on. Because it looks different. Like it looks Is it just the torchlight? I think it's the torchlight. Alright. Let me know. Yeah, stone and metal. Stone stone and metal, okay. We're gonna continue onward. There's more over here. Holy crap. Yeah, this is gonna be we're gonna harvest we're gonna farm under here. Forget <laughs> Good to... Lanky, we'll go cave farming. Yeah, forget like open world farming. The metal nodes are like there's a couple here, like, everywhere, but just a few. These are, like, more condensed. We should cave farm. This is a thing, and it looks awesome with the torch. Holy crap. I am so turned around, torches. though. On a Quetzal platform saddle? Oh, yes. Do you think we could get one down here? Yes. Yeah? Oh, okay. I think we just figured out our farm meta. <laughs> I love the sleepy dinos. <laughs> Let's progress even further down into this labyrinth. Of caviness. <laughs> of a business caviness. Of, of a business, of right. Yeah, this looks so cool. Oh, water, water. Oh, yeah, careful. God, that water sneaks up on you. <laughs> careful with the water. You can barely see it because it's so dark. Oh, I think this water goes down quite a ways. Oh, yeah, this is a water tunnel system. Oh, okay. So this is kind of what the... Uh, this would connect to where the cavern is in the castle? I think so. Nice. There's we're a gonna, huge water system in this cave. We're going to have to get an, like a... Ichthy or an angler or something to really explore the area. Yeah. God, this is big under here. That's what she said. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> LOL. Jeez, this is just absolutely massive. I'm not seeing any awesome spots to really make a base, though. Like something you could fortify yet. in exchange for the 6x damage. Right. Yet. Yet, that is. We'll find something. I promise you that. 
we're gonna explore the crap out of this, especially since we're built right on top of it. <laughs> and I'm so very excited. It's like, it's like Christmas time, and we're opening up potential base packages. <laughs> Base building packages. I am a little turned around right now. I'm not going to lie to you, and I lost you. I lost you too. I'm looking for your torch. I was just going to say, I'm looking for your torch of guidance. Oh, I see. oh there, there, there. Yeah, hey, we've been reunited. <laughs> we just got to go deeper. This is a big ready? Uh, yeah, I'm ready to go deeper. Oh, that's water. Uh, pull up. I think I wasn't sprinting. <laughs> Does this. Will it go deeper? I think this is to the point where it's as deep as, deep as it goes without going into the water tunnels. Um, ooh, maybe. I might have found a spot. Oh, where'd you go? There's like oh, a... Nice. Uh, yeah, yeah I see you, you with me? Oh, it's not going to let me move. The feelings are closing in. Yeah, the walls are closing in. Stay out of here if you're claustrophobic. This is... Oh, there's pearls down here. Uh, my claustrophobia was ignored for the, the promise of pearls. Oh, I'm in the water. Oh, you made oh, lots of pearls. Yeah, there's a lot of pearls in there. I'm drowning. Who pearls? We need the pearlsy pearls. <laughs> yeah, we definitely need those pearls if you feel like grabbing them. We need an angler in here. Yeah, no kidding. We gotta find the sea entrance. That's true. We could take these, like our sea buddies, in here and swim through. Oh, I really don't want this to be the last part of the cavern, you know, where the rest of it's just water caves. I want us to, this to be, like, so much more intricate. And then maybe, like, a super secret spot that we can build into. That would be great. Yeah. And I'm sure maybe we'll find one. I think we should continue exploring. I agree. Ooh. No. No. I think we're... I feel like my voice should be echoing right now. Yeah, like it does in <laughs> Island Games? <laughs> yes. That would be awesome. All right. We're going to hunt around here for a little bit. And then we'll, if we see something, we'll BRBs to it. But if not, we're going to head back up to our base and start to progress on our, turn our little crack shack into something a little more fancy. Work on getting some water dinos. And then we'll have to, this is like a multi-process uh, ex exploration tour. Like there's so much yeah. down here to involve ourselves in. Oh, I'm. I think we're starting to loop back around. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all. I'm all kinds of turned around right now. <laughs> There's so much going on. We're gonna explore the crap out of this, but it might require some water dinos. So we'll be our bees in just a moment once we make our way out of here or deeper. It's a gamble. All right, guys, we are back, and we've been out hunting some griffins because everybody likes the griffins. They're the brand new creature. We all want to see what they're like, and we found a pretty decent spot for them. Right over here in this general vicinity, there seems to be a pretty good spawn of griffins. And we've actually gotten rather lucky. There's three over here. Two of them are relatively low level, but there's one that is pretty decent. This guy right here, the golden one, he's a 135, and we're going to try to get him. Blitzers, whenever you're ready. I think this is an aggressive tame, so I'm going to start landing and, and tranking. And I've got some prime meats, because I All think right. they're meat eaters, but I really don't know. This is the first time I've messed with them. Wait, he's, this one's right here. He's just like flapping all over the place. Uh, that was a horrible miss. It's the goldish looking one. That's the one we want to go after. Okay. Yeah, he's, Not this level 21 that's attacking me. Yeah, there's <laughs> there's like two of them that are really pathetically low level and a 135. That's the pathetically low level. He's like golden. That's how I've been identifying him. Oh, I think I'm chasing him. Is this him? They're quick? Wait, that's not it. Yeah, they're supposed to be faster than Pteranodons. I think it's this dude. No, that's the 20. But! <laughs> here he is. He's over here. He's fighting this Pteranodon. God, they are really fast. These are going to be the new dinos of choice. Screw Pteranodons. These are way faster. Yeah. But he's a dancer. Okay, I got one hit on him for sure. Oh. Carabirds. Oh. Come here, Nick Spade. Uh, there we go. Okay. Luckily, we got out of there unscathed. Did you write that for me? No, no, no. <laughs> My Tyranodon's getting away. 
<laughs> I can't be having this. We need the grief on. God, these guys are like wily. Yeah, they are. They are really wily. They're difficult to just get settled. Maybe we should kill the ones that are not. That would be good. <laughs> not the ones that we want. The poop ones? Yeah, the poop ones, exactly. Chill for me here, Tyranidon. All right, guys, we are back in action. We're changing up our strategy here. We're having a little bit too much trouble with this griffin trying to tame it the way we thought. So we're building ourselves a frickin' griffin trap. Hopefully he stays aggroed on me. Is he in? Nice. Oh, he damages wood, LOL. <laughs> oh, God. Is he in? Oh, did we trap him? We trapped him. Oh, no, he got out. No, he's sneaking no. out. Okay, we didn't trap him. The door either. faster. Gotta do the door faster. All right, we gotta aggro him again. We're gonna we're doing a bit of a twist on the wyvern trap and trying to bring this guy in. I think this is gonna be a little bit of a more simple way to do it. He's just he was so wily in the beginning, and we tried bolas and bolas didn't work. And let's try this again. Oh, he's he went on after you. me. He's on you. Okay, th I think he's in. Hit the door. Hit the door. Hit the door. I'm on the other side. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, you keep him there. You keep him there, I'll hit the door. Uh... There it goes. No, stay in here. Stay in here, you grief on. Ouch. Okay. Nice! We got him. Now we should be able to headshot him. Yes, excellent. Come on, Bay. Let's get out of here. Aim down. Ooh. Before he breaks the thing. Yay! Oh, we've got him! That'll teach you. We built a wyvern trap. <laughs> the best way... Uh, we built. Wait, we built a hippogriff trap. The best way to tame a griffin 2017. You saw it first on Nerd Parade. LOL, GG. We got him. <laughs> Trapped that bunghole. So, don't try to tame them normally. They're wily as crap. Build yourself a trap, just like this one. And you'll have the easiest time ever. Well, once you get them in... <laughs> <laughs> you gotta play a little bit of bait. Oh, he's stuck. He's he's stuck good now. This is how we're gonna do it. This is how we're gonna bring him down. Take the, we're just we're just ramming him in the butt right now. LOL, phrasing. <laughs> and that's how we're, that's how we do things on the nerd parade. Straight in the pooper. Try darting the crap out of this dude. Awesome. Now watch not this not be the way that you tame them. Be like, oh, it's <laughs> passive. You gotta be like, you gotta seduce him with, like you Music gotta. And wine you gotta dangle your wiener out there like a like a fish <laughs> this is the more ish on the family friendly ish channel I, t I tend to like push the envelope a little bit lol i thought it, i thought he went down he stumbled there for a second and i know i hit him in the head at least a couple of times and he seemed to have give no f so it's i think he's like a t-rex where it doesn't really matter where you hit him yeah oh my face how did that do on my health? Oh, not too bad. I'm... My armor's hanging in there. Well, stop doing that. Why are you bunghole? I was gonna shoot him in the claw. So I'm down to seven. We should be alright. As long as he doesn't break through. Back to, back to railing him in the butt. My god. Torpor on this guy is in. Yeah. It's like a mana core. Freaking run real. Are we gonna have to make a dart run? I've got 44. Alright. He's trying to hit me, but he can't. <laughs> I'm good. pinned in this corner. I just fired my last dart. Okay. <laughs> oh. Bring you half of mine if I can get out of here. Cool. Just stick him in the birdie bird. I think I have an extra gun in here. Yeah. Thank you, sir. I'll do my gun number two because that one's about to break. Any time now. Andy. Can you imagine trying to do this like normally? Just like. Yeah. Flying around like grappled to his butt or something? Impossible. You almost have to trap it. Yeah, for sure. I, I really hope this is the way you take them. Because <laughs> he's starting to get a little bloody. 
Gonna have to get shock darts. You think? No, I need to make it go faster next time. That's true. I mean, we know for the future. When we tame our second one and start breeding them? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be griffin breeders on this freaking server. Oh! Oh! oh yes! Thank god! I think I have the prime either on me or on the bird. It's on. It's directly on me. I only have nine. I let too much of it expoil. Should tame up just fine, though, with the nine. Yes! I hope they're meat-eaters. <laughs> I hope you're a meat-eater, Mr. Griffin. Oh, and now we play- Oh no! It has no gender! We cannot breed them! Aww. That feels bad. I thought we were going to be able to breed them, but that's okay. 135 is pretty substantial beefy for a griffin. I feel pretty good about it. We're just going to have to try to tame some more of them, since they're going to be, from what I hear and see, better than and faster than pteranodons. I wonder if they can pick yeah. up stuff, though. Hmm. We'll have to test them out as soon as we get back. All right, guys, we've done it. We've tamed Hippo Griff the Griffin. And I'm going to hop on. Check out its stats really quick. It's got a couple of levels really quick like. I don't know what the good stats to put in this. I'm thinking maybe melee weight's going to be a thing. Requires no saddle. We'll do a race to see if they're fast. And we got to learn how to do the dive bomb. What's the... I'm not picking you up. Let me try if I could work on a dino. Let's see. C. It's... Oh, C's the dive bomb. Holy crap sickles. Go fast. Uh, super fast. Oh, this can be, this can be worked or we need Stam. Hold up. Hold up. These are going to be it? my new favorite thing. You're, we're just going to fly up. And... That's how we're going to do this. I'm so excited to get everybody in the, in the tribe of Griffin. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, land. Land? Yes. Just figure something out? Yes, I just saw something. No way! <laughs> no way! Bro! Bro! You... We're... Do you... Oh, are you kidding me? Okay. <laughs> oh, you don't even need to hit C. I thought you had to hit C. We... You just dive. Oh, nice. So, it's sprint. Okay, now I angle it up. Nice. It's fast, right? This is the new fastest way across the arc. Oh my god, this is awesome. I, I We don't even need to test. There's no, <laughs> there's no need to test against pteranodons. It's, it's... It's a blowout. Yeah. It's cool, I'm sitting higher than you are, so I can actually shoot over your head. Really? Oh, this is great. This is so great. I just wanted to tame... All I wanted to do was tame a hippogriff, and I tamed a hippogriff. That's so awesome. <laughs> That's cool. God, this is so awesome. We're gonna be we're gonna be Griffin buddies. <laughs> we could go out with just one. I want to know what right click does. So let's find something. Would you just try to bolo off of it? Yeah, find out for sure if it was bolable. 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 Yeah, that's a good idea. It's a good test. We'll stop here. Uh, Terra Bird. Let's see, I'm can't right click on ground. I can munch on ground though. Okay. Don't. No. I'm watching my weight bar and my stamina to see if I pick anything up, and it doesn't look like it. Okay. I've stamped out. Either I'm doing something. Either, either I'm really bad at this, or I can't pick these guys up. Like, it has to be something that's very, very small. Sounds like a, uh, a trainer now. Or it doesn't have a pickup at all. One, two. I'm, I'm curious. There, there needs to be more tinkering. We're going to have to figure it out. We're going to fly this guy back to base and try to figure it out for you along the way. All right, guys, we are back in action. We're flying around the base, and I figured out that I'm just really bad at picking. So I was waiting too long. You got to pick early. There we go. I got him. You got to, it's got to like make collision with the front claws, and I'm too used to picking with birds thinking it's the back claws. So that's what it is. It's still right click. Griffins are faster than, oh, I thought I got you that time. See, I, I, that was a too early pick. There we go. Hey. Griffins are faster than wyverns. They're the fastest creature on the arc. On, well, any arc. So they're going to be a lot of fun to mess with. A lot, a lot of fun. I wonder if I could super speed. You land. If you hit the ground with super speed, oh, nice. you just instantly land. So I'm going to try to super speed pick you. I think okay. it's going to be crazy. 
I have super speed coming in. As soon as oh, I like, me. as soon as I like dip up though, it slows down. So it That's makes gonna it. Be... It makes it pretty easy. It makes it pretty user friendly on on picking. So that's gonna be really good if you master it coming in fast like that. Yeah. Oh my god. I didn't see this at all. You're sprinting. Oh. Yes. If you hit the ground super speed, you move really fast for a little while. You come in hot and you land. Oh my god, they're so much fun to play with. They guys are freaking amazing. Alright, super speed, here we come. Dun 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 I'm coming at you. Get out of my way, Parasaur. Okay, I messed it up. That's feels bad. <laughs> you could apparently pick up anything smaller than a Parasaur, so people count. Like, the same thing as a Pteranodon, I believe. Here we go, coming in. Dun 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 Get that blitz hole. Pew. Oh, I missed. Take some practice. Pick practice. There we go. I got him. I snatched him off the ground. You're mine. <laughs> You're my buddy. All right, you ready? Can you mount from there, actually? That's at access inventory. Oh, okay. Hop on. Let's do it. Let's go adventure together. I got I got Blitz in the bitch seat. Yay! Let's ride <laughs> off into the sunset together. Look at us go! <laughs> oh my god, this is so fantastic. I can't wait to play with the Griffins. But that is going to wrap up the episode for us today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the taming method of the Hippogriff. Use the trap. It is your best method. It is so much easier than actually trying to follow it around and trank it out. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Oh, we can still grab with two people on it. <laughs> it's got Lenny. Come here, Lenny. No, he grabbed me off. He's better at picking than I am. Pteranodon pickers may still be the pros. Who knows? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, boom, thumbs up button for me. Let me know that you like the stuff. And if you haven't done so yet, guys, please subscribe to the page for some more cool videos just like this one. Ha ha ha, got him. Oh, he grappled out. That cheeky bro. All right, nerd Praters, please remember to take care of yourselves. Stay awesome, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Later. Ouch. <laughs>